hello friends today i will show how to assemble excel piston pump so we can see on this video this is excel piston pump we can see excel piston hydraulic pump this is the front pump case with uh, housing this is the dual and uh, this is the o-ring of cardal and this is the cardal with including with main shaft we put it inside the block and after fitting this after fitting this we need to check with the swash plate this is the swash plate we will uh, put inside for checking of this it is uh, smoothly sliding or not inside the block so you can this is sliding smoothly that means it's correct it's moving and sliding so we can see here this is the rear pump block and we are tightening same thing cardal after uh, hand tightening we will give torque on it so we will give uh, torque on it 12.5 kg in sequence tightening of in sequence so we will so we need to check same thing on this also this is the piston block so having some scratches on it so we need to overlapping this is the wall wall plate we need to put some metal paste and rub this both one so after uh, doing the overlapping we need to check this is correct or not so we will see on is after cleaning inside having a spring for forcing of spherical bearing so we are checking this is now okay but we need to do finishing more finishing so we will uh, overlapping in another direction so now we are checking ceiling area of and this is the wall plate big hole size is suction side and a small hole size is delivery delivery side so now we are doing finishing like this first put the wall plate in the surface plate and put the piston block and move the uh, rotate the on it with metal paste so now it will be finished finishing will be completed now within a minute or second so we will rotate properly and check this is the pump components so you can see in this here this is pump components so now we are putting the pistons on supporting plate of pistons so here is nine pistons concave pistons is there nine so we need to put inside the supporting plate of pistons so we will keep other side after putting all and this one the pin we are pushing putting pin we are putting pins three pins are there for supporting of uh, spherical bearing 
so this is the spherical bearing we need to put uh, up this is uh, we are using only for sealing of hydraulic oil metal to metal sealing of hydraulic oil so this is the spherical bearing put the correctly and we need to check spline also matching with the cylinder block so we will give some lubricating oil on the all cylinder holes so you can see here we are giving the hydraulic oil for lubrication purpose and uh, also we need to give lubricates lubricating oil on the pistons for smoothly sliding so now we will keep inside the bore all pistons will be go inside the cylinder you can see easily here how we are putting in this after putting you can see here it should be must should be move smoothly rotation of 360 degree you can see it is piston is up and down means vacuum creating or or throwing piston cap we are putting backup ring and o-ring for sealing of hydraulic oil this is the ring on backup ring and this is the servo piston so we are putting inside the PC wall spool and now we will put uh, the retainer and uh, now we will put uh, of spring inside the servo piston three springs are there so we will keep one by one inside the servo piston so this is the guide and we need to put uh, another spring top of the guide uh, you can say also stopper so one side is completed of servo piston one side is completed servo piston and another side will be a piston of PC valve so we can see here this is the PC valve pistons now it's completed so we will put this servo piston inside the block so we need to do lubricant on the servo piston so properly lubricant and push by hand inside the hollow cylinders so it should be go smoothly inside without extra forces so it will be comes out and in so you can see servo piston is working by hand so it's working properly it should be slide inside smoothly this is the servo piston cap and this is we are put it here this is the swash plate how it's moving inside the cardal so servo piston is moving because of this link plate is there so we can see how the moving inside the servo piston and swash plate together so now we can see here it should be smoothly move according to servo piston moment so now see here it's moving smoothly that means everything is correct so we can see here yes correctly it's moving it's smoothly moving it's moving smoothly so same thing we will do in a rear pump 
now inserting the sauce plate inside the block now we put it inside the block see how moving servo piston with including swash plate see here easily should be move easily it should be slide so now we will put uh, the cylinder and piston and supporting plate and spherical bearing inside the block and now we will see how it is working now we will giving hydraulic coil for lubrication purpose so we will check here according to servo piston moment swash plate should be change the angle so you can see in this video how the swash plate is moving inside and piston is also moving up and down there is suction and delivery ports are there how it's moving you can see easily on this video now we are putting uh, o-rings and filters in center block of hydraulic pump so we are putting this after putting we will assemble center block to the front pump we will match spline to spline male female after assembling this now front pump is completed so after assembling this other other hand side we will wear the o-rings and put some grease on it uh, dual pin and this is the wall plate big size is uh, suction side and small holes are delivery now we are assembling a rear pump with the center block so we can see easily here now we assembling this now we should uh, tight together with the central block and rear pump with the bolt now we are putting the ls valve inside the ls port for sensing of hydraulic ls valve load sensing valve this is the load sensing valve now we are putting the main seal and uh, we will wear the snap ring also on this for stopping the seals after putting this now we see here now wearing the snap ring now this pump is completed you can see now that this pump is completed if you like this video please subscribe my channel